Hi guys, today's project is to replace the LiPo battery that's inside this little helicopter with a new one. I've bought a pack of five LiPo batteries uh, from Banggood in this case. I measured up the battery that was in there, length, width and depth, and these were the closest match I could find. They're the same length and the same thickness and they should be slightly narrower than the one that's in there so it should fit in exactly the same space and I should be able to balance it out with a bit of um, clay or something if we need to adjust the balance. Before we do that though I'll just cover off a question from LOL LOL who appears to be a beginner at electronics. He wants to use the LiPo battery out of his helicopter or drone or whatever and connect it directly to an electric motor. Now that seems fairly logical to me. Your electric motor will have two terminals on it and your battery will have two terminals on it. They're all basically the same. They won't all look the same as this but they'll have two terminals. So what you need to do is get a couple of bits of wire so that you connect them together. Now depending on what your motor is like and what your battery is like it depends on whether you're going to solder it straight across or whether you're going to use some sort of connector. And I've no way of predicting what sort of connector he will have on his battery or his motor. So there's some connectors. There's some smaller ones. There's some larger ones, and there's some much bigger ones. In fact, you know, that one's the same size as the motor, so it's not going to be that sort of size. So, without knowing what we're talking about, I can't give any better advice. If it's an ordinary DC motor, it'll have two terminals on it, and if it's an ordinary DC battery, it'll have two terminals on it, and somehow or other you've got to connect the two together. And if the motor runs the wrong way round, you need to swap the wires over. I can't really see any more than that. And here's one I've connected a couple of wires to. And there we go. And if it's going the wrong way, turn the wires round the other way. That's as far as I can go on that. So what I'll do now is take this apart and put one of these LiPo batteries on there. Oh, just before I leave LOL LOL entirely, one thing I did mention in my reply to him was if you are going to cut the connectors off so that you can solder it directly onto the circuit board, don't just cut straight across like that because you're going to short out the battery. Now on a little battery like this it's not likely to burst into flames but it might. But if you've got a bigger battery then there is a good chance that you could cause a fire. So just think about that. If you're going to cut the wires cut them one and then two. Not both together. Right, I'll take this apart and we'll see what we can do. <laughs> 